George Lombard Jr. broke out last summer. 6'3", 190. Teams will have to decide if they want to take Lombard early enough to keep him from heading to Vanderbilt, where he could develop into a first rounder. So draft night, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, so you go, like, kind of go through everything the last year and a half, talking, you, you go, I mean, even throughout your whole life watching the draft on TV every single year and seeing all these guys um, and then now this year, uh, I'll see all of the guys that I've played with on the fields uh, going in the draft and maybe hopefully myself, um, which is, it's a dream come true and it's really kind of surreal. Uh, it's hard to believe. You talk about a special moment to be at home for, and that's regardless of what happens. Um, if he has an opportunity to go to college at Vanderbilt and um, has a chance to get drafted, whatever happens is an absolute amazing opportunity. We're headed to one of my friend's house, pitcher on our team, known him. We played baseball together since we were, I don't know, eight years old, something like that. Uh, a really long time. Uh, and he's, we're lucky enough that he's, he lives on the water, so, so we get easy access there on his, on his, going on his little boat today. What's meant to be is meant to be, so uh, I, I've worked to put myself in a great situation with, with college and with Vanderbilt, and uh, that whole experience has been awesome. Um, and then now, uh, being blessed with, with the chance to be drafted now um, is obviously um, pretty special. And it's, obviously, it's a, it's a really tough decision, but having the chance to, to, to make that decision is obviously a blessing in itself. Last time me and Rob came out here, I got the boat stuck and then we got the jet ski stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. That's so, we came out. We've been playing together since we've been like in you for hardball, too, for hardball, yeah. So we've seen everything growing up, and after that, you switched to our middle school. So we've been like best friends since then. I think it's like a great day to we get out on the boat, get the like, feelings right, a little calming. I think it's like relaxing, almost like yoga. <laughs> or yogis out here, I'll score it. We're sure. Uh, it's exciting. It's still really exciting. Also, I think like it gets like his like mind off of the whole draft. I always is like excited for the draft, but like it's a nice way that not many people think like to go on the boat right into the draft. Draft day. So we're back. Uh, just got back from the boat. Uh, had a good time. Weather weather was pretty nice, so I uh, enjoyed it. And now I guess I'll show you around the house a little bit. So yeah, here it is. We have the All-American jersey with a couple pictures framed, uh, which is obviously uh, one of the, the biggest events that I've ever been a part of. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Very nice play out there made by George Lombard. This was silky smooth right there by George wow. Lombard. There was a summer player of the year named today. It might be Lombard. He's just been on fire all summer. We're an hour and 15 minutes away from finding out where George is going to spend the next uh, few years of his life. So as a parent, it's more on just, you know, you protect your child as, as much as you want their feelings, you want them to be excited. But I'm excited, I'm more nervous for him because um, I just want him to be thrilled with whatever the outcome is at the end of the, of the day. And I'm happy for where he is and where he's come. He's worked so hard. You know, a lot of people think that because he's the son of someone who played in the major leagues or he's involved in baseball, that it's a little bit of an easier path. And I, I've seen the other side of it. He has so much pressure on him since day one on what people expected from him, on where they thought, all the comparison. Hey, I'm gonna break down George Lombard Jr. real quick. Guess why? Because I know his dad, you know? I've known George, I played against him, against his dad, and I watched George Sr. He can hammer some balls, he had great power. This guy's gonna be a major league manager at some point in time, but I like the fact of what the kid is doing. There's been pressure on him since, you know, he started playing baseball. I like to say he's just like me, but he's got a better swing. He's got better hands <laughs> and hits the belt better and has a better arm. So no, he's not, he's nothing like his dad. This is a day he's been waiting for his whole life. Really a year ago is where he really started anticipating this day and circling in his calendar and saying, I want to be there and I want to have a part in this day. I know that whatever happens, I, I've, put, I've put the work in and put myself into a great situation. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just kind of hope for the best. All right, with the first pick of the 2023 MLB 
MLB draft, the Pittsburgh Pirates pick Paul Skeens, right-handed pitcher from LSU. I mean, yeah, Paul Skeens, that's, we all saw him in the College World Series this year, all year, that's, that, that's talent right there. Um, haven't faced him yet, uh, hopefully he will one day, I uh, get to see it in person, but it's impressive, um, and I, he, he deserves it. Uh, he had a great year this year. No, 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 agents, agents, agents. Joel. He's calling, yeah, he'll text me. He's gonna text you? Call or text him. He's gonna call. I need to see your dad. I just talked to him on the phone. I need right to see your dad. Paul, where are you going? You going to my room probably. Big is in. You there? You good? I'm good. The Washington Nationals select Dylan Cruz. I mean, that's kind of, kind of a no-brainer. I think he was... Uh, you, you look at his numbers, not only this year, but his first two years, um, he's, he's the real deal. I mean, ti who's next, Tigers? Tigers are taking Max Clark. They are? Tigers are taking Max. How do you know? How do you know? Watch. Tigers are taking Max. I just got, I just got a straight from the source, so. The Detroit Tigers select Max Clark, an outfielder from Franklin Community High School, Franklin, Indiana. I'm good. I think it's good. <laughs>